Hey there, everyone, this is Al Cow, and welcome to the 200th episode of All the Mega Men, which we're gonna celebrate by fighting Springman here. <laughs> Truly the most hero. <laughs> Look at that crazy weird thing. Like, he's just a normal robot, except his torso, his arms, and his head, for some reason, is a spray. That's just. There are many reasons why you want that as a feature for your robot. Last time, we got Noise Crushed. Check it out! You throw a thing and it bounces. If it hits you, you charge and you throw a big one. It doesn't bounce. Exactly like Shade Man himself would do with the weapon that based that. That's a bouncy thing with eyeballs. But we're in the city. Wouldn't want to have the spring level in the woods. That would just be too silly. I wouldn't be able to take a random axe of kindness seriously if that was the case. I'm going on top! Yeah, I did it! I beat the game. It's all beaten. If you get the rush adaptator, this level's a lot easier. Because this level's all about high input creativity, low output... Cigarettes. Somehow. Yeah, I just wanted to look at my life total, because unlike the Game Boy games, you, you can't know that. That looks suspicious as a spot, doesn't it? Like, I have no idea, but it's the background that makes this look a little bit weird. But, rushed and Bart, so there's nothing... Yeah, there's a bomb, we should probably not hang around here. There's a threat to everyone's safety! Oh, look at that one up. You gotta do, like, do some crazy shenanigans like that and then die. The death part is important. Wow, this is kind of amazing in how it's just super wild. There's, like, there's rarely things that dynamic in, in the maze. In the Amiga. That's, that's true. Look, I'm trying. I'm just getting destroyed by all the eyeball men here. You know what? You know what? Fine. Let's adapt, you know? Evolution is the way in which everyone grows extra eyeballs. I've watched a movie, Evolution. I know... Okay, I saw the logo for the movie Evolution. I know all there is to know. Check it out. My upper hand, backhand, double decker hand. Uh, secret martial art that I learned by growing up inside a giant sunflower. This also looks like- I don't know, like I always get weirdly suspect of everything. I like how I got schematics for the dumb bouncing around enemies. That makes me happy. No barking? No, but well, you're standing on your- Oh, check it out, we got a teapot! We're now ready for the queen! Gonna have schematics for my own helmet and also a little bit of me! It's a little- it's a little scary, but it's okay. We'll live together in a giant art bar carved out of an even larger one. That is itself carved out of an even larger one. See, this is one you gotta control your jump. It's not a spike, but it's almost. You know what? These guys are annoying. But now that I've got the danger app, and I'm here to say that a bit was really popular with everyone. There you go. You can destroy them with this because they don't like bubbles. Why do you not like... Oh, I almost didn't do that jump. That was kind of scary. We got a robot toy soldier in the background. I think this is the midpoint. I'm taking a long time, I feel like, going through this level, but I keep looking at weird spots. Like, look, that star is way brighter. Maybe it's just because it's in the middle of the screen, but then Yoshi starts to bark like some kind of thoroughfare sheep herder, and check it out. The world's largest health bubble in the universe. Why is that even a thing? Oh, that's silly. All right, you got to search here too, Rush. Why was there a giant? Just for absolutely no reason, this giant health. Oh man, Rush is angry again. Stop barking at the metal, Rush. You're silly. Giant money. We got giant the money. You know what I call is a place you kind of want to adapt? But I forget why. Let's find out together. So these are the things, and they come out and they go, surprise! I'm a weird spring in a head. Oh yeah, this is, look at that. See, kind of stepping off of them. 
you can make them turn, and this one destroys the wall, and then you're like... But they're just scary spikes, and there we go! That's Otto's spring thing that he casually mentioned on a first encounter. So now everything you get is half price! That's right. Now you too can have, like, uh, a picture of your own head for half the retail value. My friend, you can't have more value than that. Check out these weird platforms, though. Can't have more value than this. Just fall off and look around. There's health in the corner. Do you want my corner health? I certainly don't care. We got a lady me tool up there, which is kind of funny to think about. Why must you gender the me tools? I thought they were just all happy hamburger workers. Oh well, so be it. Uh, gotta watch out, cause see, it's a spring, so you keep bouncing, and if you hold the jump button, you bounce higher. Does this concept not completely enamor you? Is it not the most amazing discovery in video game gameplay ever made? I don't even know what I'm saying. Check out that guy. He's got a shield. He's got love. Well, I got the mustard in my glove, and I'm not gonna share, even if you want to eat a delicious meal. So I was requested by Kilga to use the elemental powers of thunder against this crazy little happy boy here. So there you go. Oh jeez, he's got the spiral magnet, and then he's... I, I regret everything. So... This game has a lot of really amazing weapon, like, interaction like that. Like, when you hit a boss with his weakness in this game, you know. It is unmistakable. Uh, and I guess when you hit their opposite we weakness, too. Alright, see, so he does a little spinnerette there before he launches his punch. That is his most powerful attack, throwing tiny spikes. Oh, shoot, he grabbed me! He's gonna kill me. And that is how I died. Like, that guy, he's powerful. He's very, he just has the ability of spring, so he can contract, he can extend. That's about it. He can also throw tiny versions, and his head keeps going at taters like that. that that's about it. So, never get close to Spring Man. I mean, that's his Dalsine Pond. It's like, wow, good job. Then he throws these, you wanna shoot it down. So never let yourself get cornered. Like, really, my first death there, that was just meant to be like a little piece of education, you know? Just never let yourself get cornered by a spring, man. It's just, it's just bad news for everyone, including the spring. See, I'm letting myself get cornered by the spring, man. I was distracted by his menacing slinky attack. You wanna, you wanna... You wanna do a little bit of a curly fries, uh, you know, it's, I just like my fries the same way I like my soft drinks, uh, completely liquid and with a lot of bubbles. Now that's what I call a good hamburger companion. And then Springman's just so shocked that for a while he's not even standing on the ground. And as we all know, if a spring doesn't stand on the ground, it just dies. It's like a shark. And so that's why we're covered in purple bubble. Let us... Wow, purple and green, huh? Alright, we got piccolo powers. That's the best. So we got to throw a big... I guess, I guess the special beam cannon is kind of a spring, isn't it? Wow, one coil forward, one coil backward. Oh boy, I'm so excited! You got, you got to charge him, though. Dr. Lysol, no, look, Mega Man, this is serious. These are assault coils. They're not toy, toil. They're not toys. They're wild, and you gotta use them carefully. Otherwise, the peppermint prints won't visit your house in the night and give you five dollars. So, you no know, lessons are learned. 